Hello, my name is Elena Gordon, broker of record with Remax Gordon Group Realty. And today we're going to talk about the stats. Start from the economic indicators. As you can see, real GDP growth is up 2.1%. Toronto employment growth is up, it's 1.4%. Toronto unemployment rate is down at 7.7%. Inflation rate is still going down. In July, it was 2.5%. Bank of Canada overnight rate in August this year was 4.5%. But the good news, we had another cut uh, from the central bank for a quarter percent and now it's 425 and prime rate in the major canadian banks in august was uh, 6.7 now it's uh, 5.5 Next will be total residential transaction. We sold 5.3% less than we sold in last year, August, and it's usually low season for any real estate market. Now, average selling price. Average price just actually changed by 0.8% to compare to the last year, and considering all these rate hikes and lots of inventory i think it's very good result it changed just by 0.8 percent next is new listings new listings we have just 1.5 percent new listing coming to the market and it's a really good result considering we have a lot of inventory now days on the market we have a 57.5 one more time to get the listing sold now it's taken 44 days to sell the listing in average and this is actually due to that we have a uh, lots of inventory and when the buyers have a uh, lots of choices they taken their time to choose the property and uh, try to negotiate the price now my favorite slide selling price to compare the different area and different type of the homes here you can see that detached houses and 416 area they are up by 3.2 percent and it's very encouraging i will say because in detached houses in 416 area went up in price by 3.2 percent and considering that we have a more expensive land in 416 area and we have a more expensive properties it's a good result for this type of the properties semi-detached is down by 2.8 percent townhouses down by 6.6 percent if you look at this number why townhouse houses is down by 6.6 percent because now builders they're trying to save on the land right they trying to build more cost efficient uh, properties and they building up so we have more new construction which is townhouses and they're kind of stuck townhouses new construction it's always more expensive and we have affordability problem in uh, Canada right now that means it's not really price friendly for the buyers and that's why I believe townhouses and 416 area went down by 6.6 percent more than any type of the properties condo apartments actually went down by six percent this is because we have a lot of inventory and in 416 area we have a lot of condo and buyer sitting kind of on the fence and to see what's going to happen plus we have a more new pre-construction that are closing right now and people trying to sell for less money just to get out of the deals because when they were buying pre-construction they were buying with 1.2 1.5% mortgage rate and now when they're closing mortgage rates is like skyrocketing so it's different it's affect inventory and when buyer have more choices the price going down 
And if we look on 905 area for detached houses, uh, price went down by 2%. In semi-detached houses, price went down by 4.8%. Townhouses, 3.9%. And condo apartments in 905 area went down by 0.8%. And for today's market, their champions, they hold the price more. And this is because it was more cheaper property, right? Because in 905 area, condo is cheaper because price of the land is cheaper and there is not much competition for the condo apartment but cheaper property is still the best option for new buyers or anyone who is trying to downsize because it's more affordable and that's why it's went down in the price just zero point now to summarize everything I will say that this market update give me more hope for the better market because first of all September 4th was another cut for the mortgage rate from the central bank and it was third consecutive cut for the last two years inflation is going down it means that central bank will lower the rate again and US um, banks they are cutting the rates too we kind of connected with them and yes also the price over the year didn't change much it just changed collectively by 0.8 percent and considering we had uh, so many mortgage rate hikes and a lot of inventory and uh, price changed just by 0.8%. That means that people have equity in their properties and they not willing to sell for any price. It's just the people who got a few properties and they over leverage their mortgages, they forced to sell because now they have a different mortgage rate. And now we have a buyer's market but uh, because we have a lot of inventory if we look at the new list coming to the market in august this year it was just 5.3 percent more than in last year if you look in july this year it was 18 percent more to compare to july last year so it was a lot of inventory coming to the market now people see that the bank is cutting the rates so that means the prices can go up so they're not like willing to sell the houses they're not like overloading the inventory what we have right now but if you are in the position you can buy now you still have a lot of inventory we can find you a good deal and you can benefit from this situation considering that the mortgage rate is going to go down you probably will be in win-win situation anyway just give me a call and we look what we can do for you to get you the best deal on positive note i want to say thank you for being with me and i'll see you for the market update next month thank you for today